Hello friends, this is Laravel Visitor Management System Project Tutorial Series. And in this part, we will learn, how to make custom login. In the Laravel framework, using Laravel authentication. In this part, first we will add login page link, at the bottom of the registration page. After this, we will create method, for load the login page. And after this, we will create login page, which we will extends, master blade template. After creating form, we will submit login form data to server, for get access into system. And after this, we will display data, which will be display, after login into system. And lastly, we will write code for logout, from this visitor management system. Now first we want to add login page link, so we have go to registration.blade.php file. And under this file, here we have to write anchor tag. And under href attribute is equal to, blade echo statement. And after this, here we have to write root method. And under this method, here we have to write login. So it will create link, for go to login page. Next we go to custom auth controller.php file, and here we have to write. Public function index method, this is root method of this class. And under this method, we have to load login page. So for this, here we have to write, return statement, with view method. And under this method, we have to write auth.login. So it will load login page in the browser. Now we want to create login form, under login.blade.php file. So here we have to open, login.blade.php file, from auth folder. Under this file, first we have to write, at the rate extends directive. So here login page is a child page, and by using this at the rate extends directive. It will inherit layout of master page, so here we have to write, master page name dashboard. In child page, we want to create login page, so here we have to write. At the rate section directive, and under this, we can define a section of content. Which can be end by this at the rate end directive, now between this. We have to paste this HTML code, this will create blank layout, for create login page. Now we want to create login form, so here we have to create open and close form tag. And after this, here we have to write, action attribute is equal to. Blade echo statement, and after this, we have to write, root method. And under this method, we have to write, login.custom. So here it will create link, for submit login form data. Under this form first, we have to write, at the rate CSRF directive. This is a blade template directive, which will generate the hidden input field, in the HTML form. And it will protect your application, from cross-site request forgery attacks. Next we have to create input field, for enter email details. So for this, here we have to write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to email. After this, we have to write, class is equal to form control, and placeholder is equal to email. Now below this, we want to display validation error for email input field. So here we have to write, at the rate if directive, and under condition. We have to write, dollar errors variable with has method, and under this method. We have to write email, so if there is any validation error occurs in email data. Then it will execute if block of code, and under this block. We have to write, span tag with class is equal to text danger class. And between this, we have to write, blade echo statement, and after this. We have to write, dollar errors variable with first method. And under this, we have to write email, so it will display validation error for email input field data. Next, we want to create another field, for enter password details. So for this, here we have to write, input type is equal to password, and name is equal to password. After this, we have to write, class is equal to form control, and placeholder is equal to password. 
Now below this, we want to display validation error for the password input field. So here we have to write at the rate if directive and under condition. We have to write dollar errors variable with has method and under this method. We have to write password, so if there is any validation error occurs in the password data, then it will execute if block of code and under this block. We have to write span tag with class is equal to text danger class. And between this, we have to write blade echo statement and after this. We have to write dollar errors variable with first method. And under this, we have to write password, so it will display validation error for the password input field data. After this, for submit login form data, so for this, here we have to write button tag with type attribute as equal to submit, and class is equal to button, button dark, and button block class. After this, between this button tag, we have to write login, so by click on this button, form data will be submitted. Now we want to create method for handle login form data, so we have go to custom auth controller.php file. And here we have to write public function custom login with dollar request variable as argument. Under this method, first we want to validate form data, so for this. Here we have to write dollar request variable with validate method. This method will validate login data, which we have to define in array format. So in an array first key, we have to write form field name like email. And in the value, we have to write validation rules. So here we have to write required. So after write required in validation rule, then this field value must be required. In an array second key, we have to write form field name password. And in the value, we have to write validation rules like required. So here also, this password fields value must be required. After define this validation rules, so if form data has been passed from this validation rules. Then only it will execute other code, otherwise it will display validation error on the web page. Now we want to check login credential by using Laravel authentication. So for this, here we have to write dollar credential variable as equal to dollar request variable with only method, so under this method. We have to define login form field name in an array format. So here, we have to write login form field name like email and password. Now below it, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write auth class with attempt method and under this method we have to write dollar credential variable so this method will attempt to authenticate a user using the given credentials so if user has entered correct login details then it will execute if block of code and under this block we want to redirect web page so here we have to write return statement with redirect method and after this we have to write intended method and here we have to write dashboard so it will redirect web page to the dashboard method and it will load web page which can be only access after login into system but suppose user has entered wrong login credential then it will execute other code and now we want to redirect web page to login page so here we have to write return statement with redirect method and under this we have to write login method so it will redirect url to login method and for pass error message so here we have to write with method to argument so here in the first argument we have to write error variable and in the second argument we have to write error message like login details are not valid now we have to display this error message on the login page, so for this, we have go to login.blade.php file. And here we have to write at the rate if directive and under condition. We have to write session method with has method with error variable, so this condition will check. 
if error variable has some value, then it will execute, if block of code. Under this block, we want to display error message, so here we have to write. Blade echo statement, and after this, we have to write, session method, and after this. We have to write get method with error variable, so it will display error message, on the web page. After this, we want to create another method, in the custom auth controller. For display content, which user can see, after login into system. So here we have to write, public function with dashboard method. Under this method, we have to write, if statement, and under condition. We have to write, auth class, with check method, this method will check. Current user is authenticated, and it will give permission to access web page. And under this block, we have to write, return statement, with view method. And under this method, we have to write, dashboard. So it will load, dashboard.blade.php file, in the browser. But suppose user is not logged into system, and try to access this, web page. Then it will execute code, like return statement, with redirect method. And under this method, we have to write login, so it will redirect URL to login page. Now we have go to dashboard.blade.php file, and here we have to write. Add the rate guest directive, and this directive used for, show content for guest user. And after this, we have to write, add the rate else directive. And this block of code will be seen to, an authenticate or login user only. And here we have to paste this HTML code, so it will make dashboard skeleton. Now we want to display login user email address, so here we have to write, blade echo statement. And here, we have to write, auth class, with user method, with email variable. So it will display, login user email display on the web page. Now we want to make logout link, so here we have to write, anchor tag, with class is equal to nav link. And in href attribute is equal to, blade echo statement. And after this, we have to write root method, and under this, we have to write logout. So it will make logout link, which will be display login user. Now again, we have go to custom auth controller, and here we have make logout method. Under this method, we have to write session class with flush method. This method will remove all session data, and below this. We have to write, auth class with logout method, this method will logout user, from the current system. And lastly, we want to redirect web page to login page, so here we have to write. Return statement, with redirect method, and under this, we have to write login. So it will redirect, web page to login page, now we want to set root for the. Index method, custom login method, dashboard method and logout method. So for this, we have go to web.php file, and here first set root for index method. So here we have to write, root class with get method with two argument. In the first argument, we have to write login, and in second argument, we have to write. Custom auth controller class with index method, and after this. We have to write, name method, and under this, we have to write login. So it will set root for index method, after this, we want to set root, for the custom login method. So here we have to write, root class with post post method, with two argument. And in first argument, we have to write, custom dash registration, and in second argument. We have to write, custom auth controller class, and in second argument, we have to write, custom registration, and after this, we have to write, name method, and under this method. We have to write, register.custom, so it will set root for custom login method. Next we want to set root for dashboard method, so here we have to write, root class with get method, with two argument, and in first argument, we have to write, 
dashboard and in second argument we have to write custom auth controller class and dashboard and after this we have to write name method and under this method we have to write dashboard so this code will set root for dashboard method now we want to set root for logout method so here we have to write root class with get method with two argument and in first argument we have to write logout and in second argument we have to write custom auth controller class and logout and after this we have to write name method with logout so it will set root for logout method So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. So we have go to command prompt and run php artisan serve command. This command will start Laravel server and provide us base URL of the Laravel system. Friends, so here in the browser we have to hit base URL. So here on web page. We can see registration form on the web page and below form we can see login link. So by click on this link we can go to login page. So here on web page we can see login page. But now we want to display login page when we have hit base URL. So for this we have go to web.php file and first we have comment this code. And after this we have to write return statement with view method. And under this, we have to write auth.login, so it will display login page. When we have hit base URL in the browser, now we have saved this code. And here in browser, we have go to base URL, and now here we can see that. Login page has been loaded in browser, now first we want to check validation is working or not. So for this, we have to directly click on the login button. And after click on the login button, here we can see that form validation is working. Now we want to check this login page, validate user login credential. So here, we have enter right email address detail, and wrong password details. And after this, we have to click on the login button, so after click on login button. Here we can see error message like, login details are not valid. So here we can see that, it check user login credential, before access system. Now we have enter correct email address details, and password details. And after this, we have click on login button, and after click on login button. User has been login into system, it has been redirect to dashboard page. Here on web page, login user email address details, and logout link. Now we have copy this URL, and go to another browser. And here, we have directly hit this URL, and after hit this URL. Here we can see that, user has been redirect to login page, so user cannot access this page. Without login into system, now we have again go to our previous browser. And here login has been login into system, so user can access this page. Now we want to log out from this system, so we have simply click on logout link. After click on logout link, here we can see that user has been log out from system. And user has been redirect to login, so in this page, we have learned. How to make custom login in Laravel framework by using Laravel authentication. In next part, we will start making login user profile page, so we will be meet in next part.